Hi all, Rhea from Maisie Moo. Now if you follow my Facebook group, you will have seen I posted a picture of um, a new bag that I have um, designed. It is to hold your, hold your phone and really lots of other bits and pieces. So uh, I'll quickly show you how it works. Uh, it is a four piece design and it actually has quite a large expandable area so you can fit your phone in. Uh, this is a smallish phone here but you can put quite large phones in. Mine's a, a big one and it fits in perfectly fine, the S23. You can put glasses in, wallets in, but what it does is when you pop everything in it expands and then you just simply close it off. Um, with your, I've got a magnetic snap on this one. There we go. Take everything out and it will sit flat. So, without much more mucking around, I will show you how to put it together. Okie dokie, so let's pop that to the side. Here are your pieces. I've got my other two bits here. Okay, so it's made up, of, as I say, of, I did say four, but it's five. You've got your main bag piece. I'm going to use this um, pretty roller skate fabric as my my top flap and back piece. I've got the pink here which we will be as with this one you're going it's going to be the inner part. Now you could choose to if you wanted to simply just sew around and have the single pocket. If you don't want it to be expandable like this one here and have the two pockets you could easily do that. Um, but I'm going to show you how how the whole thing works. So you've got your two inner pieces like this and they've got the pre-cut holes. What I'm going to do first is show you how to sew them together. So they're going to sit like this and that fit over the top. Okay, so let's get stitching. First of all, as I say, we're going to work on this gusset piece. You will need some thread. I'm using embroidery thread and I am always quite generous. I'm probably going to be using about, I suppose it's about 80 inches. Nice big large head needle. And I'm going to thread that and at the very end what you want to make sure you do is create a nice big knot. So I just wind it around my finger and pull it tight and then I'll have a nice big knot on the end. Right okay so let's get stitching. You want to put your needle through the second hole. We're going to do it um, from the inside so take the needle through here we go, that second hole down, you can see it's held in place by the knot, then we're going to go through the top. Now, on this bag, I've chosen to put my um, tags on the side, so I'm going to have my tag coming out just here on the bag because I'm going to be using a different um, strap. I'm going to use my faux leather braid. The bag that I've put together um, that you will have seen on the Facebook page, the tags actually you can see on this inside seam. It works exactly the same way. So what you would do if we were going to do it with this one is we would insert your tag in here and just sew through it one on each side so that it's hidden. I'm not going to do that as I say with this one, we'll add it on the next layer. So really all I need to do now is just simply sew all the way around and then back to the other side, which I won't show you because that'll take too long. So I'll jump forward. Okay, so you can see I am at the top. Whoops on the other side here and you simply want to work your way back around so that you have that solid 
solid stitch. Okay. Right, okay, so you can see we've sewn all the way around. Got a solid stitch on either side. Now what we want to do now is just tie off the thread. Okay, so you can see we're back to that second stitch down and we're going to take your needle through so it's on on the inside like that. Okay, now I'm going to take the needle back through the seam, come down a wee way and then, um, then back it through again. You want to go through so that you've got this loop here. See this loop? And taking your needle through, you're going to be creating a knot when you pull that tight. There we go. So you repeat what we just did. Going through, whoops. Don't lose your loop. Leave your loop there. That's why it pays just to have a bit of extra thread when you're doing this. Taking that through the gap and back through your loop, pulling it nice and tight. Right, so your knot is inside. You can, if you wish, add a touch of glue to it, so if you're worried about it coming undone, but really that's quite secure. So what you've done there is you have sewn both of the two, I call them gusset, but the inner, inner template pieces together, and this is what makes your bag expandable. Right, so we've done that, so we'll pop that to the side. On to now. What we need to do here before we sew everything together is we need to pop our snaps in. I'm going to use plastic snaps, um, but on this bag here I used magnetic snaps. Here we go, the little, these are called handbag buttons, and you just push them through using this, the hole that's here as a guide for placement. They just get pushed through, and you can see the back is hidden on this one. Um, behind the flap and if you can see inside here what I've actually done can you see that there's a wee square of faux leather that I popped over the back of the um, magnetic snap because I didn't want it to scratch scratch anything um, any phones or glasses or whatever you want to put in here so by doing that that just protects things so you could also just totally um, ignore the holes and use Velcro. It is up to you. But let me go and attach these snaps and um, come back to you, I'll be a second. Okay, so we've attached these snaps. Um, you Make sure you do them the right way around for when you're closing your bag off. Okay, so we're getting ready to, to sew the bag together. First of all, we're going to pop the front piece on. Now, I'll set these two bits aside um, and we simply want to sew all the way around the edge but you want to make sure that you're only sewing through one side of your gusset okay so like before thread your needle I've got a nice generous piece again um, I'm going to come down I'll come down maybe about the fourth one because remember that's where your hole is going to be hidden um, inside the bag right so you can see I'm coming all the way through to the other side okay make sure the knots inside and then we're gonna work our way up to the top go now if you wanted to and you found the bag was moving around or you're finding it hard to keep everything lined up you could use some clips to hold it together just makes it a bit more sturdier right so like I did before really I will um, continue around and come back to you once we've worked our way back round to the top
one more stitch and we've finished this side now remember to knot and tie off inside the bag just like we did before when we were um, sewing the gusset and and then you'll just need to trim okay so you've sewn your front piece onto your inner gusset you can see you've got a nice pocket there now we want to sew the back on so you've got the larger of the two pieces and we'll start with the back piece here do it on the side Okay, so what I'm going to do is come down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably about eight. We're going to start on the eighth one down. There we are. And just going to work my way around to make sure it's all lined up. started on the other side and now we want to attach our strap now the idea with this is it's sewn into the body so it's nice and secure for this um, bag as I say I'm just going to use a simple um, length of uh, this cord it's actually faux um, faux suede braid is what it's called now what you could do is you could attach a d-ring you could attach um, these lobster claws and you would want to be popping them through here and sewing them on at the same time which is what I've done with with this bag here you can see the lobster claw has actually been attached so that you the strap can be taken on and off you can change whichever strap it is so that's a neat idea plus it's hidden inside the gusset I want this to be a bit different though I want it to be on the outside so you do have choices with this I do try to give you options where I can so this is a little bit fiddly let's see how we go we're going to go through this hole here we are going to pull it all the way through then we're going to fold over the tab, take it through the bottom hole, then back through the back piece. Okay, that's it. So it's folded in like that. Coming back through the second hole and the tab. Whoops. My fringe wasn't in the way there. Fiddly, fiddly. I'm leaning over here, so it's harder to do than I say if it was in your lap. Pulling tight. Right. The next hole. The last hole in the tab. There we go. Pulling it nice and tight. Now we're going to come back round on top of, over that again. Because we, as we did with all the other pieces, we go one way and then come back the other. We're on to attaching this top flap here or your inner cover. Let's use this. Okay, so we're holding that in place. You have got holes, they're sort of like dummy holes, just so that you have consistency in your stitching. And it means you don't have to tie anything off and come back on. So let's pull that through these. Okay, so I'm still working my way around the bag. Uh, you can see I've attached our top flap there. That top flap's quite decorative, but you could actually... Um, 
slide something under there, you can have something flat. Okay, so now we're back. Back to the double layers. And you can see we've come through the top hole. Now, one, two, three. I'm going to stitch down one more and then we'll insert the tab. Here it is. Okay, so it's all about just lining this up. Okay, so we are back to where we started. We've got one single stitch all the way around and I am going to just go, I might come back the way and then we'll have the solid stitch. Okay. Again, you're going to pass it through this tab. So you've double stitched it so it's nice and secure. And what you're doing now is you're just filling all those gaps. I'll come back to you once I'm getting close to the end. Okay, so we've sewn all the way around the edge. We've gone through the tabs on both sides, so they're nice and secure. Um, and then all we need to do now is, as we have done before, is just tie off the thread internally. So making a loop. Where's your loop? My loop's inside. There's the loop there. And bringing through and pulling tight. There we go. So we have tied everything off. We've got our two side tabs attached. All we do need to do now is this closes perfectly. There we go. Um, we need to just attach our strap. So you want to measure it on. The child or the adult who's wearing this because this is just as easily an adult bag as it is for a child with this strap it's just going to be a simple um, insert and then I'll create a knot in the end so that it pulls through doesn't pull through I should say okay so we've got a knot on that side and we'll do the same on this side um, I had some spare uh, fabric left over, some spare faux leather, so I've just made a little bow. It's quite a subtle bow in the same colours. It is the Talia bow, so it doesn't come with the bag, but if you're, um, obviously if you're a Maisie Moo fan, you will have likely purchased a couple of bows from me as well. Um, so that looks quite cute attached. Okay, so you can see you've got a few options with this bag. You've got your internal tabs or you've got the tabs on the outside. You can choose to add the gusset pieces or you could just have it flat. You could also stitch it um, on your sewing machine. be much faster. It wouldn't be the same sort of chunky look you've got here. Probably wouldn't glue this one, but you can try. It is up to you. Alrighty, so I hope that was clear. Um, and you enjoyed watching if you have any questions just reach out otherwise have fun uh, with the new easy stitch bag thanks bye